ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, how are you over there too? I'm speaking about everybody here tonight. Yeah, like they say, when I come from, oh, yo. <laughs> We came here this evening to have a beautiful time this evening. We got a group of young men here that's gonna move and groove you. Oh yeah. They're gonna come in and plant new feet and play on the beat. Yes they are. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna do a beautiful job with you this afternoon. But if you will, let's get things started by giving a big super round of applause to the band, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for the band, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Now we got another element that go with this, a big one. A man that's, uh, we call my master on the face. Yes, he is. Oh, he's great. Matter of fact, uh, he's won a Grammy playing this bass. He's so good all around the world. So if you will, look back, without further ado, let's give up a big round of applause for Mr. Christian McBride. Mr. Christian McBride. There he is! Mr. Christian McBride, ladies and gentlemen. All right, come on, give him off of hand now.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I can't remember, I think the camera's up there somewhere. Hello out there in live streaming land, wherever you may be watching. Uh, welcome to Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. It's always an honor for us to play here, uh, especially with the big band. I love these guys so much, and um, tonight is the final night of our week-long run. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank all the staff here at Dizzy's for always making this a home, away from home for us. And uh, thank you very, very much. And thanks to all of you who came out to hear us tonight. Let's see, how about it for Brother Braxton Cook on the alto saxophone? Man. This is Braxton's first night with the band. So uh, give him some extra love. The composer of that song that we just played, which is called Optimism, Mr. Steve Davis. Let's hear it for Steve Davis. Stevie D. Mr. Brandon Lee on the trumpet. Brandon Lee. Thank you very much. We're going to continue with an original composition of mine. Uh, this one comes from our 2012 release, which was called The Good Feeling. Uh, we actually won a Grammy for that recording. And uh, thank you. Appreciate that. And. Um, just in case you don't have it, we actually have it for sale here tonight. Uh, but we have the album. We got records on sale. So I hope you got a record player. Uh, the, the vinyl always sounds better anyway. That's what I think. You know. So we got records on sale here. Uh, we're going to play something from that recording. Uh, this is my song, and it's called Brother Mister. And I'll tell you the story behind that title after we play it. Here's Brother Mister.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Todd Bayshore on the soprano saxophone. Todd Bayshore. Nabate Isles on the trumpet. Nabate Isles, let's hear it for him. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was Brother Mister. So the uh, story behind that title is this. Uh, some of you may know that my childhood hero, musical hero, bar none, has always been the godfather of soul, James Brown. And all right, that's right. Uh, I, I tell people all the time, I, I just can't help it. It's in my bone marrow. It, when I'm playing the most, even if I'm playing like body and soul, I'm hearing sex machine in my head. <laughs> it just, as you know, uh, take the A train is actually get on the good foot in my brain. You know, I just can't help it. I can't help it. Um, Mr. Brown always called you Mr. No matter how well he knew you, it was always Mr. and Ms. Um, no matter how well you knew you. But if he really started to feel comfortable with you, uh, you were elevated to brother Mr. Uh, so you got the double prefix. So uh, we. I did a concert with him at the Hollywood Bowl about 11 years ago, and we were sitting backstage before the concert, and he just casually threw out, uh, ain't that right, brother, Mr. McBride? And I went, <laughs> I got the brother. So speaking of James Brown, uh, if you ever saw James Brown live, you might recognize the man who introduced us tonight. Um, for over 40 years, this man was the voice of the James Brown show. And every night when James Brown was singing, please, 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 this was the man that draped him in the cape. And we are so honored to have him with us. Please put your hands together for this legend, Mr. Danny Ray. <laughs> Mr. Danny Ray. My man, thank you, Mr. Ray. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're going to carry on now with a song that was composed by a, a dearly departed titan of this music, uh, the late great tenor saxophonist Joe Henderson. And this is a song that uh, I was honored to record with Joe on his big band recording of the mid-90s. This will feature Ron Blake. This is Black Narcissus.
my main man, Ron Blake, on the tenor saxophone. Let's hear it for Ron Blake. And how about it for the X-Man, Xavier Davis on the piano. Xavier Davis. Uh, we have a dear friend of ours who's going to come out and sing a couple of songs with us. She always pours a little extra sauce on top of the van. But before that, uh, we're going to play another song that has a particular kind of sauce. And that sauce might be something like, uh, I don't know, uh, brown gravy. Um, you know, I, this is just a personal opinion. Y'all didn't ask it, but I'm going to give it anyway. Um, sometimes in jazz, I miss the, uh, the lack of that four-letter word that's uh, outlawed in some jazz venues, but can't be wherever I play. And that F, that F word is funk. <laughs> All right, right on. You guys are on my side. Um, you know, it's, it's a gluten-free area. <laughs> you know, this uh, uh, era, era in jazz, you know, just uh, too much cholesterol. I mean, I understand not eating it, but um, <laughs> if you can't eat it, you got to have it in the music, you know. <laughs> um, you can, if you order a steak and you cut the, the fat off the side, I understand that, but you don't need to cut it off the music, too, you know. <laughs> so uh, this song that we're about to play has plenty of grease, uh, high in cholesterol, uh, plenty, you know, saturated fat, and um, you know, you put gravy on it, and uh, neck bones, and black eyed peas, and uh, all that's in it, you know. Uh, so if you're offended by uh, an overt urban two and four, you might want to go to the bathroom now, <laughs> um, because it's about to get nasty in here. Um, and I apologize for those who might be offended by the funk. Um, well, no, I take that back. I don't apologize. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm from Philly. I can't help it, you know. Uh, this song was written by one of the masters. He was a master at funk and jazz. Um, this man was like a second dad to me, and we miss him dearly, the late, great George Duke. And um, I arranged the song for the big band. And uh, he wrote a song for Cannonball Adderley in the early 70s called The Black Messiah. Never asked me who that was. Uh, but he wrote an updated version of The Black Messiah around 2001. And he called it The Black Messiah Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> so this is The Black Messiah Part 2 by the late, great George Duke.
one more time, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Christian McBride. Mr. Christian McBride. And let's give it up for the orchestra, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. Ah, uh, yeah. I told you they were going to move and groove you this evening. And they ain't finished with you yet. No, they're not. However, we're going to move on this afternoon. Come down to the love potion now. Oh, uh, yes. I see you play that big smile right far from you. <laughs> you know what's happening, man. Got your lady there with you and everything. And a whole lot of you guys like that. Matter of fact, how many of you guys have got your lady here with you? Raise your hand up here. Yeah, better hurry with them hands up there. <laughs> yeah, man. That's right. But it comes down to the love potion now, here now, I call it. We got a lady with the angel voice, you know. She gonna come out here singing all of them tunes, and make the slide and groove, move right up next to your old lady. Yeah, yes, you will, fella. So if you will, ladies and gentlemen, the lady with the angel voice. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Miss Melissa Walker. <laughs> Miss Melissa Walker.
back for 